Hi everyone, uh, thanks for joining. Uh, today we're gonna do a practice focused on strengthening legs and hips. Uh, these practices are generally considered safe for pregnancy as well, uh, but pregnant or not, it's always a great idea to talk with your doctor before starting any sort of exercise routine. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started in a comfortable seated position. You can close your eyes. Start taking some deep breaths in and out, expanding the belly, placing a hand over the belly, feeling it expand as you inhale, feeling it push in as you exhale. So continuing to breathe, about a four count inhale and a four count exhale. And as you breathe in, focus on your legs and light healing energy going to your legs as we focus on our lower body for today's practice. About two or three more breaths. And you can slowly begin to open your eyes before we move into the physical portion of our practice, uh, we're going to practice lion's breath. This is great for relieving stress and anxiety uh, and releasing any negative tension in your body. Uh, so we'll continue to breathe in that diaphragmatic manner. And as you exhale, you're going to stick your tongue out and expel all the air out of your lungs, making a noise that Sounds kind of like a lion roaring. Uh, so we'll do an inhale here. Let's do two more. And we'll allow our breath to return to a diaphragmatic way of breathing. So throughout today's practice, continue this diaphragmatic breath. If at any point you want to add in a lion's breath as you're holding a pose, feel free to do so as well. So we're inhale, bring our hands overhead. Exhale, twist to the right, placing your left hand on the right knee and looking over the right shoulder. Inhale, bring the arms overhead. Exhale, we'll twist to the left, placing the right hand on the left knee. Left arm behind and looking over the left shoulder. Inhale, bring the arms overhead. And then exhale, place your right hand on the ground and lean over towards that hand. You can place your forearm on the ground as you want to get a nice stretch in your left side body. We'll inhale back to center and exhale, placing the left hand on the ground and continuing the stretch on the other side, feeling the stretch across the right side of the body. We'll inhale, arms back to center, and exhale, bring our hands to the ground. Uh, now we're going to switch to our hands and knees for tabletop position. So when we're in tabletop, we want to make sure our knees are directly under our hips, and our hands, about as wide as the mat, um, should be directly under our shoulders. We're going to start a simple sequence here of cat and cow. So as you inhale, you'll drop the belly, arch the low back, and look upwards towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, you'll tuck the tailbone, push the shoulders up, getting a stretch across your mid back. So continue flowing with your own breath for about three more breath cycles.
Okay, and we will return to our neutral spine. We'll begin to tuck the toes under to prepare for downward facing dog. You may want to turn your hands um, at a slight angle um, towards the outside edges of your mat. And on the next inhale, we'll push our hips towards the ceiling, coming into our downward facing dog. So you should feel like your tailbone is being pulled up, your chest being pulled towards your thighs, and you're pushing away from the mat with your arms. You can move your legs back and forth, kind of stretch your calves out a little better in your hamstrings. All right, inhale, we're gonna look at our hands. And on the exhale, we will step forwards. If you're pregnant, you're gonna take a little bit wider stance here to make room for, um, for your stomach. And we'll bend in a forward fold here as far as is comfortable. You can have blocks if you wish. You can make it less intense by putting your hands on your thighs, or you can come down and touch the ground. So we'll hold this for a couple of breaths. <clears throat> right on the next inhale, we're going to slowly roll up the spine and bring our hands overhead. And on the exhale, we'll bring our hands into prayer position. So I'm turning to face you. You'll want to remain at the top of your mat. So we'll stand here in our standing mountain pose, focusing on our feet and legs, rooting strongly into the ground. And on our next inhale, we're going to swing our arms forward, push our hips back, and come into a chair pose. Now you want to make sure you're tucking your tailbone so that your hips are in proper alignment. If this is too intense, you can bring your hands to prayer position as well. One more inhale here. And on the exhale, we will bend into forward fold, whatever that looks like for you. And then inhale, roll up the spine, bring our arms overhead in, in our standing position. Take a moment for a stretch here. And on the next exhale, bring our hands by our side. <clears throat> so for our next sequence, I'm going to come back to the front of my mat. We're going to start with our left leg. And we'll step it back. About four feet apart. Now the further apart your legs are, the more intense the pose will be. So if you're a beginner, you may want to have your legs a little closer together. More advanced practitioners can have their legs further apart. We want to make sure that our front heel is lined up with our back heel. Our hips are facing the long edge of the mat. And then we'll slowly bend our right knee and bring our arms up to come into warrior two. Make sure that you're paying attention to your shoulder blades. They should be drawing down the back. Your knee should not go past your toes. If so, then just move your foot forwards a little bit. Remembering our diaphragmatic breath here, adding an alliance breath if we feel it's necessary. We'll inhale, place our left arm down our left leg for a reverse warrior position. Our next inhale, we're gonna come up through warrior two Place our right arm on our right leg and bring our left arm by our ear for extended side angle. We'll 
inhale back to our warrior two. Exhale here. And on the next inhale, we will step to the front of our mat. Just take a moment to shake your legs out. I'm gonna switch sides here. And we are going to prepare to do this on the other side. Okay, we're gonna prepare for the same sequence on our other side. So we'll lift our right leg up, step it back again, varying the space of the legs to give you a more intense or less intense pose. Make sure that the ankles are lined up with each other. Our back right foot should be parallel with the short edge of the mat, and our hips should be parallel with the long edge of the mat. So once we're ready, we'll bend our front, our left leg in the front and bring our shoulders, our arms to shoulder height. Remembering to draw the shoulder blades down the back. Also be mindful that your knee does not go past your toes in order to protect your knee joint. One more inhale here. Exhale, we'll place our right hand on our right leg and bring the left arm over our ear for a reverse warrior. Next inhale, we'll come back up through warrior two. Exhale, placing our right, I'm sorry, our left arm on our left leg and bringing our right arm overhead for extended side angle. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, step the right foot forward to come back to Tadasana, our standing mountain pose. So we'll stay here for just a moment. Shake your legs out. Just did a lot of work on your legs. Let the breath come back to a normal breathing pace. Remembering our diaphragmatic breath. The next thing we're going to do are some, uh, some squats. So we'll want to bring our legs a little bit more than hip distance apart. And you want them at a, about a 45 degree angle. So here with control, we're going to come down into a squat, adjusting the angle of your foot as you feel you need. Then we'll inhale and come back up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, back up. Do a few more of these with your own breath. Okay, and one more item we're going to do. We'll come down into not quite a full squat, just a little bit short of, um, you know, the furthest you're able to go down. And we're going to pulse here, simply come up and down. Okay, we'll take a break for a moment. We'll do this one more time. We'll straighten our legs, come back to a standing mountain pose, and we will make our way to our seat. All right, so we're gonna do a wide-legged stretch. Um, ideally, you can hold this for easily up to two minutes. To fully get the hamstrings to release, um, we're just going to hold it for a few breaths here, but know that this is a great one to hold for an extended period of time. So bring your legs out to a V at whatever angle is comfortable for you. 
Inhale, bring our arms overhead. Exhale, lean forwards, bringing your arms down to the ground. Make sure you, you don't want to hunch over. You want to keep those shoulders active and the shoulder blades coming down the spine. We'll continue to hold for another breath or two, or you can stay here for several minutes. We'll inhale, sit up, bring our arms overhead. Exhale, bring our hands back to our sides. Um, the last pose we're going to do is bound angle pose. So we'll bring both of our feet in, soles of our feet should be facing each other. You can put some pillows under your knees um, if it's uncomfortable for you to have your knees um, coming all the way to the floor. So if you're able to get your knees to the floor and you want to deepen the stretch, we'll inhale, bring the arms overhead, and exhale, fold to the point that is comfortable for you and your body. Again, paying attention to our shoulder blades and the alignment in our back. This is another great pose to hold for two plus minutes. We'll hold this for several breaths. We'll inhale and sit back up and then we will prepare for Savasana. So Savasana is typically done laying on your back, finding the most comfortable position you can for yourself. If you are pregnant, you will instead of laying on your back, lay on your left side using your arm for support. So I'll be demonstrating the um, prenatal form of Savasana. So continue to lay here for the next several minutes, breathing diaphragmatically, focusing on your legs, appreciating the hard work that your legs did for you today. Continue to lay here for the next several minutes to reflect on your practice and then whenever you are ready you can sit up and you can stay here as long as you need.